Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Today's video, I have the latest and greatest from FMS Models. This is their 64 millimeter Rafal in the NATO Tiger Meat paint scheme. This was voted on by you guys on, uh, I think it was Facebook. They put out a sort of a survey to ask what people wanted and uh, through from several different paint jobs and you guys chose this. So the Rafal has been pretty popular. The 80 millimeter uh, full retractable gear six cell version. Now we have a very simple 64 millimeter fixed gear runs on four cells and uh, it only has four servos on it. Aileron, elevator, rudder and uh, nose wheel steering. It's fixed gear but the gear can be taken off and it can be hand thrown. So we'll talk about that more when we get into the flight demo portion of it. It does come with reflex as well folks and it comes with a full complement of, uh, of drop tanks and missiles and so forth and you can put on uh, you know sort of what you like and uh, what you don't like. Fly it with or without the drop uh, the missiles and so forth and uh, this is a very simple model guys. It's going to go together fast. Only a couple screws and a little bit of uh, probably foam tack or CA to get it together and uh, and that's really it. If you guys are interested in one of these I'll put links in the description below with some coupon codes probably when I get them so you guys can get a little discount on some of these models coming from uh, FMS as well and uh, again if you guys like the content please like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell down below that'll let you know when we put out new videos uh, like this so uh, I'm pretty pumped to get this one out so uh, let's get it out of the box and see what it's all about all right we'll raise this on up to get it out of the box for everybody to see I'll go ahead and uh, unclip that one side we'll slide this thing on out and we'll get a look at what this is I'll drop this box into my endless supply of uh, my ex endless hole of boxes down there and you guys can get a real good look at uh, you know what this looks like in the box you can see it's packaged real nicely they do such a nice job over there getting this thing getting these things you know organized in their boxes nice and compact so uh, and mostly that's really so they can save on shipping because the bigger the box is the more you know kind of more expensive it is so to get it shipped so let me pull uh, my knife here we're going to go ahead and cut into these in fact i'll start probably on this side i'm just going to cut through here cut through here cut through here and right here and the top section i'll show you there's this uh they put the cone right here the nose cone is stuck on here so be careful you don't throw these things out again guys don't ever um throw your box out okay until you're done building the airplane okay until it's done because sometimes there's little parts that are tucked away in some of these that are really you know they hide some of these pieces on you and stuff so you want to be careful so we'll get this uh, out of here we'll pull this side up pull this off and right on top guys we have your instruction manual right there so uh real fast out of the box there's our two wings it looks like the servos already buried and fared under there under that fairing so really kind of nice how they have that tucked away the graphics are pretty awesome as you can see right there and uh there's even more layers here so we'll pull these away get these little foam pieces out of here let's see and i'll see if i can get a little more tight on there for all y'all to see really nice in there it's always nice to see a new plane coming out of the box there's our vertical stabilizer with our digital camo oh that's like a digital uh, tiger on there we'll take a closer look at that in a little bit and we've got lots of drop tanks with tigers all over them so very neat there's one there there's one here uh, probably a lot of drag like with the bigger fall back here from all these uh all these missiles and stuff so probably the first time i fly it, i'll fly it clean without all that our main spar right here so we'll just pull the tape off get that out lots and lots of parts really nicely painted missiles these are the wingtips and uh, then we're going to pull here that's just a piece of foam and then our landing gear actually this is our uh, programming uh, wire for our uh, reflex in the event we need to reprogram it and uh, our landing gear is right here which i'm dropping everywhere we got a parts bag and this is our uh, refueling probe landing gear here the nose gear is supposed to be a cnc machined another landing gear here and uh, yeah the parts just keep coming here's all uh, your canards up front these are just glued to uh, glued on they're non-movable so that's probably one of the only few glued parts probably the vertical gets glued as well and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pull the fuselage out of here first so we can get down because there's more missiles down below here so very carefully i'm gonna pull this out this thing is really nice so we're gonna get a a nice close look at this and again make sure you get through your total box here guys there's a lot of stuff 
a lot of stuff in here. Some more missiles down here. And again, I'm definitely not going to throw the box out until I get uh, this whole thing built because there could always be something hiding in there. So let's uh, toss this aside. Let me lay out all these parts so they're a little more organized and we'll get a closer look at everything in detail. Now I went ahead and I laid out all the parts for everybody to take a look at. It's a real easy assembly here, guys. It's only about five screws, four for the wing, one set screw for the nose gear, and then you, we got to glue the vertical in place and, um, and we glue the canards in. And then the rest of it just sort of snaps on and then the airplane is done. We put our battery, our receiver and battery in, we trim it and tune it, we go fly it. So real simple. But I want to give you an overview of everything in detail so you can guys get an idea how, how nice this model really is up close. So um, we've got our fuselage with our 40 amp ESC, our 64 millimeter fan installed, all the decals on it. It's really sweet. We'll take a close look at all that. Um, we have our wings with our really nice graphics already put on it, servo rod horn linkage installed, and it's already kind of enclosed in that fairing, which is nice. Vertical stabilizer with a real and rudder with a really cool graphic on it, so it's pretty cool. Only one connection there to make, obviously one for each wing as well. Our drop tanks with real nice graphics on them, our main wing spar, two wing tip missiles that snap on, two under wing missiles that snap on racks uh, or rails, I should say. And then we have um, our uh, refueling probe that just snaps on as well. We have, a, this is the, again, the reprogramming cable for the reflex in case you need to reprogram it. But it does, it is already preset at the factory for this airplane. And then here's our canards that glue on, real nice graphics on those. We'll look closely at those uh, later. Uh, and then we have a bag of screws. It's only five screws to put on. They give us a couple spares usually. And then our landing gear, okay? Real simple stuff. And then our nose cone, which actually just, snaps onto the airplane. So um, our instruction manual is right here with CG and everything in it. We're not really going to need that to assemble it because we're going to do it pretty fast here uh, to, to show you guys how simple this thing really is to get together. So quick review, quick close up of all these parts just to give you an idea how nice this thing is. You can see uh, the detail on this thing. Again guys, this is a 64 millimeter jet, but look at the detail that they're putting into there with, um, with all of the panel lines nicely uh, applied decals and everything on this airplane. You can see right underneath here is our landing gear uh, peg for our nose gear. It kind of pulls in a little bit and it kind of sticks out. It's got, I think it's got a flat spot on it for putting our, our nose gear on. Real nice plastic intakes here. You see the edges are nice and uh, again, nice plastic mold, so the detail is there nice. And then these little pods here, I don't know what these are, I don't know if these are infrared, I don't know if they're jamming or cameras or whatever they are, or, uh, you know, some kind of electronic jamming pod. If you guys know what they are, shout it out here, because uh, um, I'm not sure exactly what they are, but, uh, but they're on the larger Rafale as well, too, on the uh, FMS. And then we have our landing gear mounts right here, you can see they're a little bit of an economy mount, no gear doors or anything, but they pop right in place, they're really nice and they come off just as easy. Right here is a cheater hole. We have our fan uh, access hatch right there. And then in the back is our uh, kind of engine area and the cells and uh, really nice. Uh, as we run along the side here, again, look at the detail on this thing. It's hard to believe that this is actually a 64 millimeter jet. You can see how nicely the decals are applied. Uh, and the level of detail with the panel lines and everything as you can see here. And then our wing. Our wing has really nice hard points here. These are plastic fittings also right back here as well. And they are machine screws. Um, there's our spar slot right here is where our, um, our, uh, our aileron wire plugs into. And then as we roll along the front, you can see how, again, how nice the detail. I'll flip to the other side. And you can see that nose cone is just going to pop right onto place. In fact, I'll show you that right here. This is what we got, folks. It just has a no magnet in there. It's actually a kind of a D-fitting. So we're going to take that. We're going to put that right in place. In fact, I'll snap that on now so we can kind of get that out of the way. And that's it. That's how that goes into place. Um, we also have our pitot two, or not our pitot two, but our refueling probe, which is going to go on here just as nice. So I'm going to drop that into place here. Uh, let me get a little better grip on that to show you guys how that goes in. I'm just going to drop that straight down and I'm going to push it back. It goes on pretty much just like the larger Rafal goes together. And uh, it's, it's really nice, folks. I love these plastic intakes, these plastic scoops. I'll flip it upside down so you can see those a little better. They did a nice job molding, molding all of those parts and uh, just awesome detail. The nozzles are real nice. These are Lexan, okay? So you want to keep these probably out of direct sunlight because they probably can, can melt and so forth. As we go across the top here, We've got lots of, here's our, here's our connection. I'll pull that, see if I can get that out of there. And that's where a rudder is gonna kinda 
just connect to and we'll get that uh, get that wired in here shortly. This is where a little bit of glue goes in, okay, to glue our vertical in. And this is probably right here an APU exhaust for auxiliary power unit. I'm taking my best guess at that. So correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Leave a message down below if I got it wrong. And then these are more cheater holes on the top, but look at the detail. Look at that. Look how nice the panel lines detail is all the way. It's awesome. And then that takes us to our canopy here, folks, which it latches this nicely. We, un we pull this back, I'll pull it this way, and then our canopy comes off. So canopy is real nice, pilot's screwed in or screwed up, however you want to look at it. And then we have our Velcro in there, which of course, as you guys know, I'm probably going to remove that. So that's going to come up pretty simple just by grabbing it and lifting it up. And, uh, but they have the, the Velcro in there that you can put on your battery for the guys that like to use Velcro. We're just going to peel that off and I'm going to get rid of that because I, again, you guys know I use shelf liner. But look at the inside of that and how nice that is with the reflex setup. Wires are ready to go. Battery straps are ready to go to put your four cell pack in there. And there's our nose wheel steering servo right down in there. And it's, uh, like I said, folks, this thing is all ready to go. I really like the detail up front here of, uh, I don't know if these are gun sights or if those are, or what those are, camera package of some sort on the full scale, but, uh, but it's really put pretty sweet. You can see these are all labeled nicely and uh, pretty much everything in there is ready to go. So I'm going to pop this back into place. Even the cockpit, even the pilot's got, uh, got some nice detail to them and the instrument panel as well. So uh, we'll get this snapped in place and it locks in and that's it guys. That's your fuselage. Again, we already got two parts on it. Take a quick look at our wing panels. These are really nice as well. You can see the level of detail on that. There's uh, access uh, patch panels. There's panel lines for our simulated slats and so forth. And as we go to the side, nice plastic fittings here. And of course right here that plug into the uh, wing, um, the wing plugins and everything. And then right here we've got our, our lead, which you wanna make sure all your leads are nice and tight. Make sure the electrical contact is good before you put it on there. Um, and then the underside, this is where all the hard points are. We've got uh, these little connectors right here and right down here for our drop tanks and wing missiles. And the wing missiles are gonna actually go right on the, the end here. So pretty simple. And our servo is right here. It's actually taped over, okay? But the horn is up through this fitting. So if you want, need to access this for any reason, you'd have to pry this, this nice plastic fairing away. But, uh, but really nice wing panel, guys. The quality is uh, pretty awesome. And uh, what I really like is, this is the cool thing, is the vertical stabilizer on this airplane. It's pretty slick. Let me move this thing out of the way so y'all can see this. This is a really nice sort of a digital or, I don't know, faceted tiger, I guess you would call it. But what an awesome, what an awesome graphic that is. I think you guys, you guys chose this paint job and this FMS did a survey and you guys picked out a really nice one. I like up here, I guess these are little swords across here, but the detail on this is awesome. The servo is mounted, rod, horn, and linkage is there ready to go. Even our little uh, antennas right up here are even in place where they're supposed to be. And then the opposite side, pretty much the same thing. And then this is all just gonna plug in, you know, to the underside or to the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the space right here where this is all gonna plug in. And we'll, we'll talk about that here in just a second. Drop tanks are really cool. I love the graphics on these. It's very, very neat. They went ahead and they put a tiger on there. Obviously this is a 2017 tiger meat paint job, but there's a beetle and a tiger on those. And these just latch on to the underside of the wing, which this is what we'll put on last. We'll throw both of these on there. But I really like the graphics. Here's our wingtip missile. They are side specific. So you just follow the airfoil on how they go on there. So we'll get those in place, how they fit. Same thing with this other one. You know, again, they're side specific, I think. So I think there's more of a, uh, airfoil on one side than the other, but they went ahead and they did a nice job putting the stickers on there. It looks like the wing, the tip of the missile is actually painted, but so there's some nice color there. And then here's our underwing missiles, which are pretty basic. They're just one color. They're not really painted or anything, but those just snap onto the wing, you know, on the underside uh, as well. And again, we'll put these, we'll put these on the, on the airplane last. Okay. Uh, and then our canards, there's our two canards, which are pretty slick. You can see they uh, have that nice, uh, I don't know what's with the honeycomb graphic, but it's really neat. And this is, you can see the, they masked off the area here where you glue and put these on the fuselage. So, and we'll show you, um, we'll show you how those attach. We'll get that, that uh, on when we assemble. Our spar is just gonna fit basically all the way through and we're gonna put the wings on. And then here's our landing gear. Let's get a close up of that. This is really nice stuff. Um, the actual nose gear is metal. Um, it's a machined 
um, it's supposed to be part of its CNC, and then it has compression to it as well. So it's a compression strut, again, fixed gear. It just goes on with a single set screw that you guys can see right there. This is just a sort of a dummy, okay, trailing link right here that um, um, is just gonna fit into a hole in the underside. And I'll show you that. Nose wheels are really small, okay? They're about one inch and a quarter, okay? So, so probably gonna need a paved surface or some really fine grass to operate this on. But you can see the spring-loaded feature there and the simulated landing lights right there that the big Rafal, the 80 millimeter has. And then here's our main landing gear. These are literally just wires, folks, that just snap in place. And we'll show you how, uh, how well those work. Just wire gear. And that's really it. So that's it, guys. That is the layout of all of the parts here, okay, that came out of the box. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to try to do in one take a speed build for you guys. Let's see if I can pull it off to show you how easy this refall is to get together. Now the first thing I'm going to do for my plane is put the landing gear on. I'm not even going to follow the instructions. I'm just going to do it the way I think probably I ought to do it. And uh, we're going to do sort of a test fit of everything. Obviously, um, you know, we already got um, our... Um, our nose uh, cone on and we have our refueling probe. Now all we're going to do is put our, our landing gear on and the landing gear goes on simply as follows. I'm just going to pop this this thing into place and here's where you have to be careful that you don't you know damage the surface of this thing. All this thing is is a you plug it in, you rotate it around, you turn it and you snap it in. So it's really that simple of a thing. I'll pop this one in place and uh, what I'll do is I'll give you all maybe a little bit better of a close-up. This might take a little longer than I I, I planned on, but really that's all you do is put that, pop that thing in there. Try not to scrape up your foam as you push this thing around. And then you can see, you just snap that on. That's a new design for FMS. That's sort of a first, you know, for, for getting that on there. But hey, it works real nice. It goes on and off real easy without any parts. So that's kind of a nice thing. Then the next step up is I'm gonna put the nose gear on. Let's see how fast I can, again, get this, get this done. We're going to take this and we're going to line this up. I'm going to see if I can get, uh, get us up on the nose of this thing. Let me raise my table a bit, or let me lower the table a little bit, actually. And I'm going to tilt it towards everybody so you all can see the nose uh, right here. So let me back it up just a little bit. I'll see if I can zoom in a little more. And it's really this simple of a thing. Let me, uh, let me go up on the camera just a hair, and you can see how this is going to go in. I'll zoom in. This will take a little longer just because I'm doing zoom and all kinds of stuff. And what we might have to do is sort of grab this thing with pliers or our fingers and just sort of pull it out. It's got a flat spot on it, and I'll put my hand through the inside. In fact, I'm taking this hand on the outside, and I'm pushing it through so I can hold that pin because you can actually feel it from the, from the inside of it. And then we're just going to take this, I'll put this peg in place, and I'll find the flat spot, which actually is right here. We're just going to drop in the, the, the dummy uh, brace in the back there, and then using a one and a half millimeter, um, you know, uh, what is it, uh, hex driver, I'm just going to try to line this up. In fact, let me get this lined up this way so I can get it in there. I'll put my hand in through the inside once again, and then I'm just going to tighten this up real quick and just get it right on that flat spot which it should line up. They give you a spare set screw, okay, in there, in the package, in the bag. So if, if this one doesn't work for some reason, you got a spare there. But that's it, guys, it's on. You just wanna make sure it engages the flat spot. And uh, that's it, folks. Uh, the landing gear's on. And then, you know, we can put the rest of the things on there that we need to. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, just kinda put it down so we can see what it looks like on the wheels. And that's it, it sits there pretty nicely. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these wires in here. I'm going to pop the uh, canopy on in place so we can see. It's looking slick already. So the next thing up is really is to get the wings in place. And it looks like the wings do go through the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back, my Ernst Manufacturing stand, which makes the best stands around, and uh, we're going to get our wings on for everybody. So I'm going to take my spar. I'm going to stick my spar through here. I'm going to slide that into place. We'll go a little higher on this. Let's raise up so we can kind of be in the frame here. I'll go a little wider. And then we're going to take our wings one at a time. We're going to line this up with the spar right here. Just get it into place. And then while I have that in there, I'm going to go ahead and make my connection just right here. We're going to snap this in. And these have the really nice connectors that um, have the locking tabs in them. And then we're just going to push that into the wing. That's simple of a thing. Just push those in. You can see it going in there. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and line up these tabs right here and push it into place and that's it. So you see how nice of a fit that is? See, I'll pull it out a little bit. There's plenty of space in that hole, okay, to put our, um, um, uh, to put our connector. So I'll get the screws out of the bag, which I'm just gonna drop here. And I'm gonna put these two screws right in here and right in here. And I'm gonna get them tightened a little bit. And this is a two millimeter metric. They're three millimeter metric screws, but we're using a two millimeter to get them in there. Tighten those up real quick. And I think we're just a couple minutes into this. I'm just tightening that up and holding. I'm pushing in on this wing just to make sure the threads line up. And they seem to line up nicely. And then I'll get this second wing in place. Again, we're going for time here, guys. So mark your clocks and tell me where we're at. So same thing here. We're going to go ahead and put the wing right here on the spar. And then we're going to take our connection and we're going to make that connection right there with our servo lead, popped it in place, and then we'll feed that in there. Again, there's ample space down in this hole. There's like so much space that it's an, an easy assembly, way easier than some of the other, other models I've assembled where you're squeezing that thing in there. There's like not a ton of space in there to get that in there. And once I got these on here, that's pretty much, you know, the end of the screwing. That's, that's all there is to getting this thing together. So let me get, uh, let me push this wing in. I'm using my body to push against this thing to get that screw hole lined up. And then I'm tightening it up to make sure it goes in place. And that's it. Wing is together. We're pretty much one and done with that. And we're good to go. I'm thinking we're getting, we're getting to a position where we might actually get this, might actually get this done. Um, in one take. And then the next thing, I'm going to do this without gluing it, guys. I'm just going to do sort of a dry fit, okay? So I'm going to take this, connect my rudder line, which is really that simple to get together. And then I'm going to feed that down in there. And it should fit in there pretty nicely. I just got to angle those around a little. And here's where we're going to glue it. And here's where either foam tack, okay, or CA comes into place, okay? And you can use whichever you want, but I'm just gonna do a dry fit without the glue. I'll glue it later because I'm just trying to save time to show you how quick of an assembly this is. And that's really it, guys. That's the, that's the vertical stabilizer on the airplane in place. And again, we're gonna glue that into, into position. So now the next thing I would do is put the canards on. I'll glue those in place, but before I do that, I'm just gonna get the tanks on. So just to show you guys how easy it is to get these tanks on, and I love the graphics. This thing has very, very nice graphics. And let's see if I'm doing this the proper way. Is this going on this way, I believe? Let's pop that, slide that back into position. And I'm looking at the picture, trying to see if that's the, I got it in there the right way. There we go. I think that's the right way. Hopefully that's it. If I put it on backwards, I'll uh, find out later looking at the box, but that just slides right on. And then same thing with our wing missiles. And you can see kind of how easy of a thing that is. So these are the underwing missiles. I don't know if these are side specific. I don't see any, any angle to these or any beveled edge. There could be, but I'm not, I'm not really seeing it. So let's go ahead and get this on. And again, this is just to demonstrate how simple of an overall assembly this is. And if I can do it here the first time and pretty much get it right, that you guys can tell how simple of a thing that this thing really is to get together. So again, I'm looking at the curvature of this, and I believe that this is the top end of this. So I'm gonna lock that in and slide it back. That's in place. I'm gonna li lock, line this one and slide it in. And then we're just about done with the model, guys. Um, this is, again, just a dry fit rather than showing you all the gluing, because I know you guys know how to glue everything. I'm just trying to get this together as simply as I can to show you how fast it is to put this together. Now, we're gonna apply some glue to these, both of these canards, and we're gonna glue them right on there, again, using CA or foam tack. But that's it, guys. It's done. It's that simple of a thing. Aside from, again, gluing the vertical on and uh, gluing on um, uh, the canards, the airplane is finished. So that's how easy out of the box this model is to assemble. I'm trying not to move it too quickly because I don't want the canards to fall off and go on the ground. But that's really it, guys. That is how simple this airplane uh, is to assemble. All we have to do now is put a receiver in and put a four cell battery in 
and uh, and we're ready to go. And I will save that for the flight demo, guys. So um, anyway, um, that is it, folks. Um, I will put links for this model down below um, in the description box where you guys can get this. You guys can get this in the United States at several places. Uh, you can get it at Turbines the RC overseas, and I'll put all those links below that you guys can click on. Of course, if you guys get one through my link, uh, that supports the channel, and we appreciate that. Um, we're going to get this out to the field, just ASAP, and uh, we'll put links to those videos in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Oh, yeah, one thing I was going to do is just as a comparison to show you the size difference, folks, between the, the 80 millimeter, okay, <laughs> and the uh, and the 64 millimeter, so you guys can see see how these uh, how both of these things uh, look together. But and there you go, that's how they look. Almost, you know, next to each other, you'd say, oh man, they're really not so much uh, of difference of an airplane. But but man, um, it'd be nice actually if they made the bigger one in this paint job as well, because this is a really cool paint job. But I like I do like the yellow. Some like it, some later love it or hate it or or whatever. So. Uh, anyway, guys, that is it. Check out our links below. I'll put those there for you guys to, to take a look at. If you guys like the content here, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell down below and it'll alert you when we put uh, new videos out. So I'm pumped to get this going again. Those flight demos will come out soon and we'll put those in the upper right hand corner of the screen that you can click on and, and check out later. So anyway, guys, uh, I appreciate y'all watching RC Informer. I really like the, uh, the new Rafal 64. Um, and we'll be talking more about, you know, when we get to the flight demos, we'll be talking about hand launching it versus flying it on the landing gear. And uh, we'll get into that into those videos. So anyway, guys, appreciate you guys watching RC Informer. Thanks for uh, watching. And as always, folks, we'll see you all next time.